Optimizing code is a cornerstone of software development, especially in coding interviews. One way to reduce the complexity of code is to use the two-pointer technique. And the two-pointer technique is a method to solve problems involving iterating through a linear data structure, like arrays, using two distinct pointers. These pointers typically start at the beginning and end of the array and move towards each other, but they can also start anywhere. Specifically, the two-pointer technique often reduces time complexity from big O and squared to big O of n, and it does this by avoiding nested loops. The big O notation mentioned here refers to time complexity because it describes how the number of operations grows as the input size increases. And so this technique, once again, is typically used in problems involving sorted arrays, finding pairs, or subarrays that match a certain criteria. To demonstrate, I'm going to show you the two-pointer technique and the brute force solution to find two numbers in a sorted array that sum to a target value. This is a common interview question, and this problem is typically called two sum. So on the left, I have the brute force attempt, and on the right, I have it optimized with the two-pointer technique. So in the brute force approach, we have the typical nested for loop. The outer loop iterates over the elements, and then the inner loop processes the remaining elements. And this leads to a time complexity of big O n squared. So as an example, we pass in this array and we want to find two numbers that add up to six. What we would do is we would start at one and then we would add one to two, get three, that's not right. Then after that, we would add one to three, get four, and so on until we get here. And then if we didn't get any of these answers, next we would go to two and then compare two to three and so on. And this leads to big O n squared. But in the optimized solution over here, where we use the two-pointer technique, we can reduce the time complexity from big O n squared to big O of n by initializing two pointers, one at the beginning of the array and one at the end. And then depending on the problem, move the left pointer, right pointer, or both, and stop when the pointers meet or cross each other. So in this example, we have one pointer, which say starts right here at element one, and then the right pointer starts here at element five. We know this array is sorted, so what we can do is we can shift the pointers based off if the value returned is greater or less than the target. So essentially this is saying, while the pointers don't intersect, add the two together. If it equals the target, then we can return them. If the sum of these two values was less than the target, what we'd wanna do is we would wanna move the left pointer. Whereas if the sum is greater than the target, we would wanna move the right pointer. And you can see how this drastically would cut down the amount of time. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. Take it easy.